had outstanding 1,005. From there, he stormed back, had several quality wins, including this eighth round TKO against Francisco Mora in August of 2006. Puma was busy again, and the dream was alive. And then a big step up. A big sturdy fighter with a big right hand at his very best in September of 06, winning third place in the contender, beating a spirited Norberto Nito Bravo. Rising star Joel Julio on three weeks' notice had to lose 35 pounds, and it showed. After this loss, he knows he needed to revitalize his career, and tonight he knows he's facing one of the busiest fighters in the game. When you come off a loss, the phone gets... But he needs to have right to the table. We set it up. The former world champion. Which protect the power of real clean shots. Real tough. He has a lot of love in his mind. Would you like to see some offense? Well, I want to see defense from Uma, but I'd like to see at least... In the main event, Kasim here, the low blow a little bit. And you're going to see... Eddie throwing that jab, that right jab, and now moving forward, a much more active Kasim Uma. Again, he wanted to fight it clear. Okay, you're now in that zone. Corner Bundridge, I say, look, we know right hand is your meal. He has not really learned Teddy and muscling up. No, he'll move him around. Taylor wanted to get right back into the ring. Can arrive, but I just don't see human emotions. And sometimes a guy like Uma. For a second, Smoker nine. You're not going to see K8, but are we seeing the best? Uh, not not up, really an up. inside. Getting to a kind of an uppercut. Is getting frustrated by getting muscled. His way in, right there. That's where the danger is for. He's gonna fight mainly for Uma, also for Bundridge. Locked in. I do. Right now, Uma moving right in front of him. You're in a dangerous. I said that he's been cut two of his last four fights and also one draw ahead, but Uma with headbutts before. Bundridge was. Oh, and there's a big shot. Has to be respected of Bundridge and outside part of the eyelid, so it's not flowing right into his. And present. Fourth round and thing on the inside. Again, the flow is not direct. Man who's going to have the responsibility of stop. But I, I mentioned earlier that Uma, not a fight, but if Uma can open that up, he opened up. Just when they leave, that's what he said, Teddy. Very clear about, okay, next time. Now the blood starts to flow. Again, but on the side of the eye where it's not flowing to his eyeball. Again, as I said earlier, see much from Bundridge. Bundridge. Left hand. Round. Left hand being on that cut, so it hit it without any blood. And without any left jab, he needs to use right the corner saying, look, balance of offense. Bundage would serve himself well. Clark, Walter Wright, doubt Nito Bravo after losing to Stevie Forbes. Three times he significantly has stepped up in class. Step up in class. But Cornelius Bundridge round lackluster at the start. Cut as Uma picks it up, starting to win rounds. I believe Uma going south. He's going east. Seems like that's the way it's happening. Doubt in one round by marched through the junior middleweight division. Beating a lot of J.C. Candelo. Coffee. Jim. Bundridge is fighting a fall. That is where Bundridge. Knowing a man is waiting to, to harm you when you get back up and climb through the rope by the ring champion. Let's do all sorts of things. Round. I would have to go. Steady. And he needs that. The blood is not flowing now. We're out borderline. You hear Steve Smoker. He's done an excellent job in this fight. Quite enough blood. And now in these last two rounds, Bund yep. no work on the inside. And he is eagerly looking at a 10-8 at 9-9. A point is, is come with the right hand. Right there. That's the day. And when there's room. And we've got a close. It's always conclusive. Away from the right hand, where he's, you kind of know it's coming. By a wide margin. I but a formal was that the one weapon that he has, well, he has to operate it full. But he needs. You're going to see that. Bundridge Kasim Uma. A big right hand. Well, you've got it even so far. Oh, what? Right hand of Bundridge. Uma stood in front. Bundridge gave. You know, this fight more to the right his distance to let it go. He's doing it right there. You can see he, he was at one point known for throwing over 100 point punches per round. This was on the inside. Herman, Eddie Squinzio, and Julie Letterman. This is going to be interesting to see how they score this fight. It was interesting. Had a real ebb and flow by two. The way the fight went. Unanimous decision, Cornelius.